What's going on everybody? We got a 2005 Mazda Tribute 3 liter engine. Uh, we're going to be replacing the water pump uh, due to a leak and uh, get a new belt on here as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this belt off. Um, it's a stretch belt. This one does not have a tensioner. Uh, therefore, you're going to want to replace it. We'll go ahead and just cut it off to get it out of the way. Just like that. We'll pull it up out of here. All right, once you got the belt off, we'll go ahead and get the uh, eight bolts that hold this water pump onto uh, the block here off. Uh, if you're replacing the entire pump with the back half of the housing, there's only three bolts you'll need to remove. Um, in our case, we're putting just the pump on here. Eight bolts that go all the way around this water pump. We're gonna remove all of those. Let's go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna put this camera back up here on the stand. But those are the eight we're gonna be taking off. All right, once we've got them all cracked free here, uh, we'll go ahead and get a ratcheting wrench and just work them out the rest of the way. Uh, keep these bolts in order, so we will need to reuse them in their uh, original spots. And I like to just start with the uh, top one, dead center here, and then just go clockwise with it, keep them all in order. All right, working on that last one here now. off here so in case you're wondering uh, what your bolts look like in order like so starting in the center and clockwise uh, you get the long a short a long three more shorts I'm sorry four more shorts and then a long get those cleaned up get this water pump out of here now pick up on it all right we'll make sure we get this uh, surface area here where the new pumps gonna go cleaned up real nice we'll get it cleaned up uh, once our new pump gets here we'll start uh, getting it installed all right so we've got our uh, new water pump here and gasket uh, what I like to do is go ahead and just get a dab of RTV here in a couple spots um, just to hold the new gasket in the place uh, once we do that we'll go ahead and get these bolts back uh, started back in and uh, I'll show you what that looks like and we'll get them uh, tightened down torque spec alright go ahead and set the water pump into place get your eight bolts ran all the way into their uh, flush and we'll get those uh, torqued down all right, once they're all torqued down there, we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up. Uh, next and final thing we're going to do here for the replacement of this water pump is get this stretch belt put back on. Now, this might be uh, worth a video of its own, so I may have a separate video just on the belt as well from this video. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring you all along to finish this car up. So let's go ahead and get the belt installed here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this stretch belt installed here. Uh, let me show you guys how to get it done uh, without any specialty tools needed. Just the simplest way we could possibly do this. All right, can we see here? There we go. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab our belt here, our new belt. And we're gonna get it wrapped around the uh, water pump pulley. And then what we'll do is we'll bring it around the top here of this cam pulley. And we'll just use a zip tie to hold this thing on while we turn the crank. And this belt will slip right on. Let's go ahead and start the zip tie here. Put it around the water pump. Get it around the front of this cam pulley. Now let's go ahead and pull our zip tie tight. All right, just like so. And then what we'll do, we'll go around here to the uh, passenger side of the car here. And we will spin the crank pulley by hand. And you'll watch this belt um, slip right on. So I'm going to go under there. I'm going to leave you all up here so you can watch this belt come on. All right, we'll go underneath here. We need an 18 millimeter socket. We'll go ahead and start turning this cranky. All right, and then you'll see just like that, easy as can be. About as easy as it can come for installing a stretch belt. All right, once you've done that, we'll just go ahead and get this cleaned up a little bit, spray a little brake cleaner on here. Um, go ahead and get the coolant filled up the rest of the way. Let it warm up, get the air out of the system, take it for a drive, see how it does. I'll bring it back in just a second. All right, we got it filled up with coolant. We're gonna get, get it started up here. Flashlight. And you can see here the, uh, the belt's spinning good. Nice and straight on there. Just let it get up to operating temperature and take it for a drive. Other than that, if you got no leaks, not overheating, uh, that's it. It's time to replace the water pump. Uh, thanks for watching.